Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, shall we? Alright, so again, this is great. I'm uh, working on my Dragon Maid deck, trying some new cards, looking at all your suggestions, and I want to, as always, just say thank you to everyone for your amazing detailed advice. Uh, it's been a great boon. This game is uh, debilitatingly overwhelming when you get into it, given the amount of cards that are available in the format and the game. And so your assistance has made that transition possible and something I'm excited to learn about. Uh, this is the Dragon Maid deck. I've made some changes to it to experiment with some cards based on what you guys have been saying. And so let's talk about it in one second. Okay, so the first thing I basically did here was take out um, the Psy cards. Uh, I was running a suite of Psy cards, and I understand that they are powerful uh, cards that can come out uh, and zonk what the opponent is doing, but they, number one, aren't that great, apparently, against the computer. I never use them. Um, and so, you know, uh, the Psy frame cards were just there, and also because some of you have been talking about trying out um, Dragon Maid Welcome, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do Dragon Maid Welcome because I want to see how it plays. And uh, if I want to you know, use this instead of perhaps something like, uh, you know, two downtimes, I don't know. I also put uh, a Regeki back in. And uh, I threw in uh, another changeover. And I did that um, so that you can get the cool turn where you can uh, use the Dragon Maid to get another changeover and basically play two changeovers uh, and have that, like, double fusion turn, uh, which is seems fun. I don't know. It might be egregious, but this is where we're at now. And I'm going to save this and go back into it. So, um, a lot of you guys are really recommending that I play duels, and I definitely am going to play duels. Um, but I want to get through the solo content, uh, number one, to get more gems so that I can uh, try out even more cards uh, in this Dragon Maid archetype. And I want to get the timing down with this deck so that I can play uh, with a sense of speed because uh, I know I'll be on the clock with a duel, and I want to just make sure that it, the, the basic combos are really ingrained, and I still have a lot of work to do with respect to that. So this is the Gladiator of the Glory Beasts. And um, we can get a bunch of dark gems if we wreck this, so let's do it. We're going to play our Dragon Maid deck, and I'm going to try to get the feel of this more refined. A lot of you have been giving me excellent advice about exactly what to be doing um, in this situation to extend my turn. Like, I need to work on extending my plays. So right here, this is a good hand because I got a Parlor Dragon Maid. I mean... As long as I get one of my Dragon Maids out there, I feel like we're probably in good shape. So what we have here is a parlor. And we got a basic Dragon Maid, and that means that we can start getting crazy by having the summon chain of all the Dragon Maids in effect. And so that's what we're going to go for. So with parlor, I can summon parlor down here. Now, we want to activate her effect, and we don't want to do that. And so we can send a card to the graveyard, right? And so if I look at what Parlor is saying, we can send a any Dragon Maid card we want from our deck to the graveyard except her. And then at the start of the battle phase, we can special summon a level 8 Dragon Maid monster from our hand or graveyard. Now... If I put a level 8 
Dragon Maid in there, and I use Changeover. Um, I can't, from my hand, use Changeover to Fusion Summon Xiao unless I uh, wait for the battle phase. No, even then I can't because the monster will go to the graveyard, and I you can't. Um... No, no, yeah, yeah. If it's in there, I can swap. I can tag out the parlor, put the level eight in play, have the parlor back in my hand, and then um, I'd have to attack with that level eight, and then I could do changeover uh, if I wanted. So. I can't, like, throw Chamber in the graveyard and then use Chamber. I can't tag out for Chamber. It has to be level 8. So I'd have to throw in one of these level 8 guys that I've got, uh, and this is fine. So we'll do this, put it in there. And then, now, what I could do instead is uh, Link Summon... Um, what I could have done is I could have been in a situation where I ha instead of putting a level 8 dragon maid in there I could have put um, tidying in the graveyard and then um, Link summoned parlor for like striker or something uh, uh, one of my level 1 links it goes to the yard and then used tidying as a reborn and gotten parlor back and then taken those two to summon uh, to link summon the spheres I believe and that could have been something that I did that that might have been you know the better play in a lot of ways uh, but at the same time this way what I get to do is uh, I'm going to set... Oh, wait, wait, no, I'm not. Uh, you guys told me, wait to main phase 2, or main 2, before I summon, you know, set my traps. Uh, be sneaky about it, and then we're just going to go into... Oh, we don't, but... That's right, that's right, okay. Again, whoops, dragon made mistakes. I don't get to go to a battle phase to make this happen right now, because, um... I'm going first. And so, given that, I should have probably done tidying to get spheres in play right away, uh, and I and I didn't. So, we don't have a main two. We're starting. So, we just want to set um, this here, and then set downtime over here. And we're not going to use changeover because we really can't. And I don't want to link summon right now um, for parlor because I have um, dragon made downtime the trap. Okay, so I'm going to just pass. Okay, so they're going to do a field spell, which is a, a great target for, you know, one of my bounces. Place a counter on this each time you special summon from either deck, right? And then all gladiator beast monsters get a bonus. Okay, that's fine. I could just... discard, um, you know, my changeover intentionally to do that, or um, I could uh, do the second effect of uh, Dragon Maid downtime and just return Parlor to my hand and return their trap to their hand, but you know, that the timing of that is not great. Like, I don't need to do that right now, because they can just replay it. So, I think what I'll do is just let this pass. I'm not super worried about that. 
All right, so there's Gladiator Beast Dairu, and so what I can do from this is um, just banish this card. So I am going to use my um, Paleozoic Dynamiscus. It'll get rid of their normal summon, so we'll activate the effect of this. Uh, I will discard... I'm going to banish this, and I'm going to discard Changeover. And then they set a couple of traps. And I will now activate this to uh, bounce one of their traps. Huh. No, I did that wrong. I messed up on that. Let me go back um, to my... This says... Return it to the hand and return one spell or trap your opponent controls. Do I not get to do that, or am I about to get to do that? Do they not... If they're face down, do they not count? Um, well, we'll find out. What does this do? Um... Yeah, might as well just bring this out. Sure. There we go. Now, okay, good. I was worried that I, I misplayed that or something. Here we go. Just pick that and bounce it in their hand. And then they're down the trap. And then now it's my turn. Now I'm going to draw, and we got chamber. Okay, great. So in this sense, um, we can start to do some some things. So I'm going to chamber here. Yes. And um, we don't want to do this at all. And we're going to go ahead and put... Dragon made tidying into our hand. And then from here, um, we can... We have in our yard, we have our level 8. So, if I go to the battle phase, I can um, bounce my level 8. Or what I could do is... Uh, just... Use changeover to put to push a dragon maid back into my hand. But I don't really want to do that right now. I can also push a card back using downtime and get another dragon maid, but I don't want to do that either. I think honestly, um, what I want to do here whoop, is just go into the battle phase. And we're going to um, activate this. I wonder if I could activate both without, you know, and get the benefit of returning it to the hand, but then do this first. And so, you know, you get... Uh, the benefit of downtime without sending it back. But anyway, I can... Um, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, this is so convoluted. Um, we're in the battle phase, and so we're going to do this. And I'm just going to drag this direct attack. Uh, nope. Hit him. No, don't do that. Hit him. And then now, I'm going to go into uh, main two, and I want to activate 
discard. And we're going to bounce it back, and we're going to special summon uh, Parlor. It has to be Parlor because... Um, there we go. Do it that right there. Yep. Uh, chamber is four stars. It's level four. Um, and then we're going to activate the effect of Parlor. And then uh, we don't want to do this right now. And we're going to send... Um, We're going to send uh, Lorpar to the yard. Okay, and then we're in main phase two. And from main phase two, we're going to set Dragon Maid Tidying over here. And then I could just downtime Parlor um, and get another Dragon Maid, right? Or I could... Um, I could link summon a, a, a one link for parlor. But I don't think I need to do that. I think what I want to do is just activate the effect of... Uh, this. Get this back in the hand. And then I'll take um, nurse. Okay. Okay. Main two, and done. Okay, we're going to draw. And we got Monster Reborn. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's see if we can do something more effective this turn. Alright, so I'm going to summon Nurse here. <laughs> no, that was the wrong thing to do. Uh, amusing. But it's okay, because what we're going to do is... Uh, activate the effect of tidying. And I'm going to return Nurse to the hand. And then I'm just going to bounce their monster back. And then, um, uh, let me see. Hmm, wait a minute. I thought I could do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you can only do it once per turn. So you can't, you can't activate it and then get it out of the yard. Okay, great. Okay. So let's Monster Reborn something. And, boy, this is the only target? That's sad. Okay. And then... Okay. Uh, they have 4,100 health, so if they can't block me, I can just discard uh, Tinkhek and do 2,000 extra. So what I'm going to do is go into the battle phase, and uh, 
Let me see. No, it's not a dragon maid. Just hit it. And then what we're going to do is attack here. And then I'm going to wait till the damage step. And then I'm going to activate this effect. And this one... Okay. So we won uh, right there. But I made misplay after misplay after misplay. Uh, and it's, this is why I'm practicing. I don't know what happened, but I kept... Um, I think what's going on is I'm trying to do too much. I'm trying to do too many crazy things. I have all these ideas in my head about, you know, uh, trying to get out spheres. And then I need to fix in my mind what I'm going to do if I go first and what I'm going to do if I go second. Because what you can do with this deck going first uh, is fundamentally different, given that you don't have a battle phase to tab tag out a Dragon Maid with. Okay, and we get that, and we can open this gate. Okay, so I'm going to go into this next duel here and try to get these fantastic legacy packs. I had a good conversation with you all about the legacy packs and how... Uh, I don't know if disheartening is the right um, idea for that, but only two cards that you can't dust is, is pretty brutal. Okay, so I have a hilarious hand for destroying... This is a good control hand, right? So Dragon Maid Welcome uh, is... I get to try it. So... Uh, I'm just going to activate the effect right here. And I'm going to summon Kitchen. And yeah, we're going to use Kitchen. And nope. And we're going to send... Uh, now, Kitchen is what? Level 7? Level 8. Okay. So, let's just send one of these out. Send our shiny one out. And then we send that. And then she gets this huge buff from Dragon Maid Welcome. Now, remember, we are on turn 1, so I don't get to tag her out. But what I can do uh, instead, if I wanted to was actually I could actually link summon one right here but I think um, I don't want to do that I want to uh, keep my kitchen out there for next turn and so I'm going to just pass the turn All right, I'm going to Ash Blossom that. Okay. Uh, and this is also something that I just need to understand better that I don't, which is, wait a minute... Um, it's the start of any battle phase. So if I can just be more patient, I can now tag out. They have a 2,500 attack dude, right? But I have a way bigger dragon. So I can just um, do this right now, activate the effect, and then summon this out and put it in attack position, and they're not going to be attacking through this. Um, now I could... Um, it says it's the end of the battle phase, so that means they're not going to attack. So, I could then um, actually just throw Kitchen back out there uh, instead of this, which I will do. So, we're going to activate the effect, and then we're going to summon Kitchen into um, defensive position. I don't think it really matters. And then we'll activate her effect, and then... Um, What I'm going to do is get a chamber and then kick Lorpar back to the yard because now I have two choices and so I can kick Lorpar to the to the yard and then I will be able to uh, get the full benefit here. 
All right, we got tidying, which is just fantastic. Okay. So now what I can do... Um, they have a 2,500 attack dude, which I'm not worried about in any way. I'm just going to go ahead and summon um, this. I'm not going to link summon. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm going to activate Chamber's Effect. Not going to do that. And I think I'm going to get a uh, changeover. And then from this position, I have two Dragon Maids out, right? I could target one Dragon Maid card in my graveyard, accept Welcome, and add it to my hand. And um, you can only use this effect once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, your opponent cannot target... Yada, yada, yada. So I think what I want to actually do is get... Um, well, I can only get one of them, right? But that will allow me to use it as fusion for Dragon Maid Changeover. So what we'll do is we'll activate this effect... And we'll get this back. And then I'm going to uh, change over. Yes. Yes. And we'll set it here. I have Ash Blossom if they're trying to get funny, but I don't think that they are. And we'll select a Xiao. And then I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use Kitchen and uh, Lorepar as my fusion material. And then we're going to just summon this right there. And then, hello, we have a huge dragon. How are you doing? And then from here, um, I can actually... Uh, I could return Chamber right now, but I'm not. I'm going to transform Chamber on the attack phase. Uh, but I am going to uh, set this for no great reason. And then let me go into the battle phase. And so in the battle phase, I will activate this effect, get Chamber back into my hand. I will special summon Lorepar, yes, into attack position here. And then uh, we have enormous things out here. From this point... I'm going to uh, attack. Yes. Kill that. Take the damage. And then we'll just hit here. And then they take a ton of damage. Now, Lorepar, I can't do... Uh, I could have actually put Chamber in the yard instead of that. Input left kitchen so I could resummon kitchen, um, but I want chamber to be able to play her next turn to get a spell or something. Uh, I don't know if that's the right decision. That's just what I feel like doing. And then from here, um, I can actually uh, activate the effect of changeover and uh, bring it back to my hand and, and put lore par back in my hand. And I'm gonna do that. Why am I going to do that? So that I can uh, change over next turn and get another Xiao or a house. And then from... Actually, I can just change over right now. What do you mean next turn, right? I can just uh, <laughs> do this right here. And do I want a house instead of Xiao? Like, house... Um, I don't really need... I just think I want another Xiao instead of House. Because the Omni Gate is just too tempting. Okay. And then... End. Yes, 
Now we have two of these. Um, no. Alright, we're going to special summon Chamber into defense right here. Yep. I'll take a hospitality. All right, so this is what they've put out there. And then now I can do tidying um, to basically uh, just get rid of this. I'll just take chamber back. Um, and this one. Okay. And then we'll draw a card. And we got Knock Division. Nice. I really want to start with that card. Uh, yes, we want to activate this effect. And we don't want to do that. And we will special summon uh, Chamber. Defense here. Um, this is a the chamber is a dark, right? So I can just special summon Noctivision. into defense position here. And then I would like uh, another tidying. Okay. Before everyone uh, gets on me, I think I just noticed something. I think I just noticed something. Xiao, um, you can only use the effect of... You can only use each effect of Dragon Maid Xiao once per turn. That was my mistake. I should have gotten House so that I could be summoning both of them. Now I understand. Because House and Xiao would trigger together, summoning more and more Dragon Maids. Um, and this is one of those things where it's like once per turn, just understanding the language of that. So Xiao can only do it once for all of your Xiaos. I got it. Okay. Um... All right, now, um, I'm just going to special summon uh, spheres. I don't even need to do this. It's just nice to have this on the board in case they want to do something. Like, in case one of these traps was going to do something. And then... Um, And then this lets us if draw a card. So we just get a free card from Noctivision. Um, and we don't want to do that. Okay, terrific. And then... Um, I guess I'll activate the effect of Welcome. And we can get... Uh, kitchen. I think I already did... Um, chamber and we'll just go ahead and get nurse and we'll put this in the yard All right, I'm going to activate Hospitality. And I'm going to Special Summon Nurse. 
And we're going to send a card from the deck to the graveyard, which is Ernest. And then Nurse, we're going to activate her effect, which uh, lets us target Chamber Dragon Maid, cancel. Um, we'll go ahead and put her in defense position here. How about that? Look at Dragon Maid Welcome plus what we have. Even our spheres are hitting for 500. That's nice. Okay. Um, now, we can't get house unless we... Uh, I think we have to have our changeover card to get house. Um, but that's okay. And so what we're going to do is just go into the battle phase. And um, we're going to activate... Uh, chamber and we're gonna do this and then we're gonna activate kitchen and we're gonna do that and then we're gonna activate nurse and we're gonna get earnest How's that? This might be the most damage this deck could do, or right about. I mean, I guess I could have three shells and three and more houses out, or whatever. But this is ridiculous. Uh, we won't embarrass them too much. We'll just do this. And what do they got? What's this? Um, Bubble Bringer. It says level four or higher monsters cannot attack directly. Um, ho ho! I see what you're trying to do. So I can't Ash Blossom this because I guess it's not coming from the hand, but you know what I can do is uh, just negate it. No, you can't have that. And then now, speaking of the house, right there. Now we got the house. Bam! <laughs> wow. What a game. Oh, goodness. This deck can do a lot of damage. Fantastic. Okay, and now it's time for this uh, last kind of Dragon Maid deck duel in the Glory of the Gladiator Beast solo mode section. This time we can actually get ourselves up to 200 gems, which puts us over the thousand if I um, wanted to do a 10 pull. But I am going to try to save 600 for the dual pass. Uh, just make sure I have that ready when I'm actually going to start uh, dueling. But as you can see, I have a lot of work still to do on getting my sequencing down. I think a lot of what I want to work on is understanding what I do on turn one and turn two, given certain hand layouts, and just having that, like, it's like in chess, memorizing your openings. I just want to memorize my openings so that I can get a good start and not... Uh, flub the game like at the very beginning after interactions happen and and board states change Well, that's another game, but um, in this sense I need to be sure uh, that I understand How to play this so in this context This is a great opening hand um, <laughs> uh, For this deck because I got a bunch of uh, of the lower level dragon maids I have a, a good trap, and I have a Ash Blossom, a shiny one at that. So it's fantastic. Now, in this case, um, what I can do, uh, because I'm on turn one, and I can't attack, and I can't use Dragon Maid's ability on my turn uh, to, to bounce out something bigger, I'm going to just set up uh, spheres. And I have to, I've been messing this up. And I need to just crystallize this in my memory. Um, you guys were giving me the challenge of uh, how to do this. And just knowing how to do this with only one card. And I'm going to activate her effect. And what we're going to get is... Um, we're not going to cancel it. And we're going to pull out Hospitality. And then um, from here, what I can do is... Um, this card... Uh, we will do in a second, but what we're going to do first is we're going to special summon um, 
striker dragon right here. Okay. And now what I can do is I can hospitality and pull out, I'm going to set this and I'm going to pull out, uh, I'm going to pull out the dragon made, um, gosh, which one do I want to get out more? This is an interesting question because, you know, I, I have a kind of an embarrassment of riches. I have too many. Um, so do I want the one from my hand to be special summoned or the one from my yard or do I want to do kitchen? All I'm really going to do is turn them into fusion material for um, spheres. Actually, I think... Um, let me read the card really fast. Uh, you can only use each effect of Chamber Dragon Maid once per turn. Now, when it says each effect, does that mean for each... Like, if I have a different Chamber Maid, I can use their effect? Or does that mean chambers, all chambers can only use it once? Because then I should do Kitchen to guarantee... I'm going to do Kitchen anyway, so I guarantee I get the effect um, that I'm looking for. Because I don't want to not get the effect of... The, the enter the battlefield effect of my dragon mate because I've already used it. Um, chamber. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to send a card. Uh, I'm going to send this. The only one she can send. And then now... Um, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand except kitchen. Right. Um, and so we'll do this, and no, we don't want to do that, and, um, let's see, I'll get the big one, uh, we will send this to the yard and then now I can get spheres out okay uh huh and we'll put it here and then we can set paleozoic dinomiscus here um, and we're done. So this is a good first turn for us. Okay, so they're summoning Gladiator Beast Darius again. And, um... This is their normal summon. So if I pop this, if I bounce it back with spheres, um, what will happen is they will lose their normal summon for the turn. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to save the Banish for something else. I'm not super concerned about this. And we're going to use this as the Tribute. I'm going to put that back in their hand. Now. And then um, we want a special summon uh, Nurse, I believe. Uh, because in my yard, I do have uh, a kitchen. I have a chamber, too, don't I? Yeah, 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 right? And so Nurse can get um, a chamber out. Uh, we'll put her in defense right here. And then we'll activate her effect. And then we're going to get a chamber. Um, nope. And we're going to put chamber in defense as well right here. And then we're going to activate her effect. And then at this point, um, no thanks. Uh, I, I probably want a tidying to get some extension. I could pull out changeover, though, if I wanted to get uh, a boss monster out. Yeah, I'm going to get changeover. I have um, another chamber in my hand to fish out something anyway, so... Um, do I want 
to blast that. Uh, no, I'm okay. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you know what we're going to get to see, though, is the double fusion. So I can actually change over right away and um, make this happen. But first, I should normal summon chamber, activate the effect, and um, cancel. And we're going to get a tidying. And then here, um, we can do our fusion. And it says, um, which one do we want? And now, I could actually, I put this in, I forgot I added this um, to the extra deck. Uh, I could summon this, um, but no, no, no. Um, we're going to get house. We can't get um, Xiao because we don't have a big one uh, on the field. But what we can do then... Is just put these back. And then... Um, Throw house, face up, attack over here. And then from this spot, um, I can actually. Now I, I could change over again if I wanted to fuse out um, Xiao, but I don't. However, I have all kinds of interesting plays because what I could do. Uh, is I can play, um, I can activate the effects from the yard, which is I could activate changeover to bring back chamber and this to my hand. Um, and what's funny is if they had a monster, house could pop it when I bounce it back to my hand. Um, but I don't think I... Do I want to do that right now, or... Um, do I want to, uh, you know, I'm actually going to leave my chamber out there so that I can have, um, no, there's really no, yes, there is a reason. What am I talking about? Of course there's a reason to leave her out there. I want to leave her out there so I can pull out a big dragon on the battle phase. Um, we're going to... Uh, we don't need to set that right now. Let's wait. Let's go to the battle phase. And then we're going to activate this effect. And then um, we're going to pull out this face-up attack right there. All right. Tinkek. And then um, we can just punch the face. What's this? When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, change the attack target to this card and proceed to damage calculation. Okay. This card cannot be destroyed by that battle. If this card is special summoned, uh, it's not. That doesn't happen. Um, okay, so I can't Paleozoic Dynamiscus it yet because it's not on the field. It's like in their hand at this stage. And I can't Ash Blossom this either. Somehow, cancel. It's so weird. Could I have Paleozoic Dynamiscus? It, it, the animation was showing it that it was like in their hand and not on the field. Um, all right. Well, I can attack with House into this, but it won't be able to be killed by combat. Or I'm just going to do this and get rid of it and do the damage to their face. It's not a huge issue, but this way they don't ever have that again. 
and then I'm going to discard a card from my hand, um, and we're just going to put... Uh, tidying into the yard. And then... Um, we'll hit their face. Uh, cancel. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I could have... I wonder, just thinking out loud, if I could have used at the battle phase, right when I was declaring an attack, if I could have triggered... Um, I'm still in the battle phase, right? Can I do... I'm going to try to do tidying and then bring in... Oh, no, it says... But the dragon maids say at the start, right? Okay, so I was wondering if I could swap in a lower dragon maid and then use their ability to switch out to a bigger dragon and then punch in the face. But I don't think I can because I'm in the midst of the battle phase. But I could still very much do tidying. Um, to pull out, you know, Ernest or something and then punch them in the face with it. So let me see about that. I'm just going to test that out. It, it's probably not the smartest play at the moment. Um... So, I could get this and hit them in the face. I could also get one of these um, and use their enter the battlefield effect. Right? So, if I got this, um, I could special summon... Um, another chamber. So, the idea here is, like, I could do this right now and hit for 2700 right now. Or I could build up an enormous board. And I think I probably want to just play for extension. So put out the nurse, activate her effect. Special summon chamber in defense. Um, and then um, battle, but I'm done. So I have to go to main two. Um, and then from here, I can just put out Xiao. But I also have some other cards. What else do I have in here? Um, I could change over. Yeah, but I don't want to do that right now. I think what I want to do is just, um, activate the effect. In, in that previous case, summoning another chamber with Nurse actually didn't do anything, and I think it's because... I had already summoned a chamber that turn. Is that what messed it up? Um, from getting to, you know, continue playing cards. Anyway, we're going to go here. And then we're going to get Xiao. And then we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to use this, of course. And then um, this as the fusion face up right here. Okay. Um, now, I have two changeovers here, so I could bring Chamber back into my hand with a changeover and get it back. Or I could Link Summon chamber, but I don't think so. Let's just go ahead and hmm. I'm going to wait. I'm going to keep her out there. Yep. And then now we can just throw out, you know, uh, Nurse again. Oh no, I pushed the wrong button. That's hilarious, whoops. I clicked no, I would never do that normally. I just was moving too fast. All right, and then house, yes. Wait, what is her effect again? Um, 
Oh, oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right. And then we'll send Ernest to the yard. Like that. Okay. Um, they're going to play Gladiator Rejection, which says uh, we can't target Gladiator Beast monsters you control with card effects. Um... All right, and then it says, if a Gladiator Beast monster is special summoned during your main phase, um, you can special summon another monster from your deck. Yeah, I don't know. That seems... I'm just going to negate it. I don't like that. So we'll get rid of that. And then we'll bring out another house. And I'm actually going to put her up here. What does that mean? They're thinking? Alright, Zodiac. What is this? What are they thinking about? Alright. They're gonna do that thing. Okay. Alright, so at some point, um, I want it to stop. Wait, 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 wait. Aw, oh, man, I was hoping it would stop. Okay, so... There's a bunch of things that... Um, so she says... Right, I don't have a shaft... Oh, I do have a shaft in my yard, don't I? I should, right? Where does he go? Oh, no, he goes back to the extra deck. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, so we'll, this will get us a chamber. Okay. And then... Uh, I'll take a... <laughs> I'm going to be a complete turkey and get this one. This is completely unnecessary, but it's funny because I have so many Dragon Maids out. All right, so I'm going to activate the effect over here. And then, how about that boost? Okay, so what we can easily do is... Uh, I can just spheres and dominate uh, and, and get rid of this. Is this. What's this do? Zodiac Dryden. Zodiac Dryden, rather. Um, Gains attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of all Zodiac monsters attached to it as material. You can, once per turn, you can detach material from this card, then target one face-up card on the field and destroy it. Okay. So, interesting. But what we can do in reference to that is just, um, we're going to activate changeover. Um... I'm going to grab uh, a chamber. And then I'm going to use house to pop that. I know they're going to detach material from it. Oh, can I just kill their their material? All right, so they're going to do their thing. Which they're going to kill my... Um, house, and then I'm going to kill their guy. And then from here, um, I think I can special summon this for free if I uh, special summon a chamber. You can target one Dragon Maid card and add it to my hand if I want. Okay. Summon this. And then... Um, go ahead and do that. And then... 
if I wanted to get Xiao, I'd have to kill um, my house, and so I'm just going to get another house. Okay, and then we have another house. And then... Mm. You can target one Dragon Maiden in your graveyard, except welcome, add it to your hand. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Um, what do I want? A changeover or a hospitality? Yeah, 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 actually, this is perfect. So what I do with this is I can activate this here. I'm just doing a million things, and then I can go ahead and get Chamber and then play Noctivision for free. And then we'll put Noctivision down um, here. And then what I'm going to do is summon Spheres and use Noctivision and... Um, oh, I can only use House? For spheres? Why is that? Um, oh, is it because it's in my fusion zone and I have to have that space free? Or is it because these aren't dragon monsters? I'm going to have to look at the, uh, at the effect. Yeah. Maybe it's because I put her in the fusion. Or, I'm sorry, you know, the the extra monster zone, or whatever you call that area up there. We'll draw a card with Noctivision. Um, nope. There's Max C. Now, let me look at this. Um, well, it says two dragon monsters. Yeah, I think it was just because she was blocking the slot in the zone. I thought you got to use both of them, but apparently you only get to use one of them, and the other one is for your opponent. I think that's how that works. Okay. Um, and then now, uh, <laughs> we're going to just let the fun begin. And we're going to go to the battle phase. And, yeah, let's go for this. Activate the effect. Give me the biggest dragon you got. Give me the biggest dragon you got. There we go. And I can't do chamber because we already did a chamber. Um, and then now... <laughs> we're just going to absolutely annihilate this opponent. So, here you go. Now nah, we don't need Max C right now. And there it is. So that was a really good match. Um, in, in the sense that... I had a lot of plays to make and just got even more practice uh, trying to maximize my position. I think the difficulty I have with this deck and, and I, as I try to learn it is that there are just, I'm not playing it optimally. Like to completely optimize every turn, I need to just master the interactions with knowing, oh, okay, wait a minute, actually in this spot, Parlor would be better, or Nurse would be better, or Chamber is the one, and then remembering which ones can summon which dragons, and then which spells, I, you know, so I just, I just have to perfect it. Again, it's so powerful that I win, but I want to become more efficient and make even better decisions, and I'd love for you guys to um, help me out on that path, so any kind of advice, tips that you can give me about these matches. My first one was probably my worst, um, and I tried to get better as I went, remembering what to do and not getting overloaded, you know, keeping it simple, but also exploring different possibilities. We've changed the deck a little bit. I, I just want um, 
any kind of advice, it's just super helpful. I read it all. I read every comment that you guys put. I, I try to implement it. Sometimes I get overwhelmed or I just make a mistake, but at the same time, it's all part of the process, the learning process, and what's making the game so fun. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you guys next time, and let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Take care.